Roger was Marla's first pet. You know, I believe every child should have a pet of some capacity in their early years. Helps them cope with death later on. Death in the family, friend group, my death, the works. I saw my mother die. I watched her. And, you know, if I had, if I'd had a parakeet like Roger die before the incident, I'd feel a whole lot better about this whole situation. Much less thinking. Marla had won Roger at the state fair six months back. Goldfish died too soon, so they started giving out live birds. I objected at first. We got him his cage, we got him his food. <laughs> Something about Roger. He would yell, a yelling bird. And it wasn't appealing, it wasn't a song. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Like, it was in pain, suffering, the works. We had neighbors call the police twice because of Roger, always yelling. At one point, we put a rubber band around his beak, held it shut. Yeah. Carla kept telling us to take him to the vet. Was he in pain? Was he yelling from that? We didn't know. Paid a shit ton to take him to the vet just for them to tell us they didn't know either. Looked fresh out of school they did. He snapped out of the rubber band eventually, just kept yelling. I think Roger's endgame was to make me break. Like, he knew what he was doing. Just yapping and I remember one time he got out of his cage, landed right on the lamp on my bedside table, stayed there all night, didn't make a sound. First ray of light, started yelling again. I almost choked him dead, I did. Alarm didn't go off for another two hours. I did some writing to pass the time. There's no way I'm gonna get any sleep after that. Roger died two days ago. Lord knows how old he was. He flew right into the stew I was cooking. God, it was horrible. Marla ran in, wondering what was happening. The yelling was so horrible. We just watched him boil. Marla actually screamed at me to grab him from the pot, but it was the bubbling kind of boy, you know, frothing all over the sides, would have been a whole lot of trouble to get him out, you know, medical bills and such. She still hasn't forgiven me. Marla says, she says, I threw him in the pot. She accuses me of that. Made me the enemy of the whole endeavor. Had him in this shoebox for about two days now. Started rotting from the bottom, he did. I haven't buried him yet. Ground froze over recently, so we have to wait for it to thaw. Rest in peace, Roger. Hopefully we can bury him today. Oh, here's the paper. Got this the other day. It says right here. To whom it may concern, I'm the one concerned, yada yada. Results from your CT lung screening exam. We ask that you come in on December 19th to receive your full diagnosis. Isn't that bad shit? They say it's too informal to tell me I'm gonna die through written word, so they tell me to receive my diagnosis in person. You can tell me in a letter my feelings won't be hurt. Found out my first love was gay through a letter because he knew I would have dragged his ass through the dirt. My feelings been hurt worse through a letter. Merry Christmas, I guess. Jesus.